Make.com does not have the direct option that allows you to publish stories to your Instagram account. That is why in this video, I'm going to be showing you all how you can do this setup in a very easy method where you can schedule, post or upload stories to your Instagram from your Make.com account. All right, so getting started. So along with Make.com, we would be needing two other platforms, which would be Buffer and Zapier. So there are a lot of other methods like you can do like a custom coded solution where we just create a script by getting the graph API from Facebook and Instagram and we could do it in that method. But, you know, it's not very user friendly or easier for a non-technical person to understand and implement. So that is why we're going with Zapier and Buffer. So you don't have to. So it just depends. So it, it is going to be completely free if you keep like the story limit within a certain number that I'll be explaining in the video. But yeah, but if you're uploading like if the number of stories that you upload crosses a certain limit in that case on you would need to get like a paid plan on Zapier but in the rest of the cases it is just completely free so let me explain that so firstly you would need an account on Zapier and buffer so you can see this buffer is a test account that I use for testing all the social media like whenever I build a project for a client I just make sure that this is the account that I use to do the testing so coming back so first you gotta create an account on buffer so you could just create an account very simple and after that you just need to connect your Instagram to buffer so for that you can see that there's an account account right here so I'll let me go to the settings and disconnect this So let me say connect channel, select Instagram and under help, you can see like the different types and I'm going to be selecting the third one, which is connect Instagram via linked Facebook page because my, this page is linked. My Instagram page is actually linked with Facebook page. That's why I'm going to select this, but you can also directly connect it also if that is the thing that you want to do. Yeah. So let me say connect Instagram via linked Facebook page and say continue as John. Yeah. You can see John Andrew. So this is exactly the account. Yeah, this is exactly the account that I want to connect. So I'll say finish connection. All right, so now I've got the account set up as simple as that. So you got to keep in mind that it is always better that you link your Instagram with Facebook and after that connect it with the help of Facebook, just like how you've done it on make.com. So in make, you would have connected your Instagram just by linking it with Facebook, right? So you just got to do exactly the same and just say link it with Facebook and then just select the specific Instagram account that is linked and now here you are. So I've connected exactly this account right here to buffer. So, so I just unlinked and just add it back. So now we've connected connected our Instagram and Facebook to. So now we got what we got to do is go to Zapier and set up the connection for that. Let us go to Zapier. See, I'll, and now I'll say create, create a new Zap and at the trigger. So here's where the trigger is going to be like the trigger is going to be sent from make.com. So once make.com sends the trigger, it is going to go and create the story for us. So for that, for the trigger, we're going to be using Google Sheets. You can select a Google Sheet. So you can also create a new Google Sheet. So I'll go say sheet dot new. I just created a new sheet. So now let me go back to Zapier. And for the trigger event, I just got to select the first one, new or updated spreadsheet row and say continue. And the name of the spreadsheet is tutorial YouTube stories that I just created. And the worksheet is going to be stories and the trigger column is, let me go and assign headers. So link, or you can say URL, anything. So this is basically going to be the header. And I'll just try to do a test with this specific video. So now let me go here, paste the link, try to download it. So I'll right click and say copy video address right here so that I'm just directly able to test it. So right click, copy video address, go back to Zapier, I mean go back to Google Sheet, paste that link right here and go back to Zapier and test trigger again. And now we should have that being pulled inside this one. So we got the value. So I'll say continue with the selected record. And now I just got to say buffer. So I'll select buffer. And over here, I need to say add to queue. Before that, you just got to select the right account. So I've got two buffer connected. So the, I think in this case, it's going to be the first one. So in your case, you just got to, you just got to say add, create, connect a new account. And then just, it's very easy. Connect a new account and then just log into your buffer. You just get connected. And after that, just say continue. And the organization it just, 
one organization in my case if you've got multiple just select the right one and here we're gonna be posting to Instagram stories so I'll say Instagram account and it would ask you the post type so the post type in our case is story so I'll say story and for the media what type of media you're posting so in our case we're just doing a video so I'll select video so let me enter the video link inside this just mapped it and the scheduling type is direct scheduling and add to queue so here there are multiple options you can schedule a post at a specific time interval i mean at, at a specific time slot or else like you can share as the next post and buffer like you've got the option to add like multiple slots where the post is going to be made so you could add it to the next slot so or you can save as a draft whatever you want to do but in our case we're just doing share now which is it's which is it just get shared instantly now let's go to the next and i'll say test step so now what should happen is this specific video would get sent to buffer and buffer would just send it to our instagram okay so we've got the update as the update was sent to buffer about four seconds ago so now let me go back to instagram go to the profile try to refresh you can see that we've got the post made here so we just created an instagram post i mean instagram story so so that's it so you see whenever you add a link to google sheet it is going to take that and publish it to instagram this is how the post has been sent to buffer so in, in this case we've just used for the video so to do it for images either you can do it as a single you know you can add some conditions filter and do that or else what you can do is the easiest method would be to just let me get rid of this would be to just create two zaps this one for you could name this one for store this one for videos and just create another one for stories just duplicate it and just for, for images so this one is for videos you can just duplicate it and create another one for videos so as simple as that so in that case what you can do is you could go to this here you could create like a sub sheet so in the sub sheet you can say and for this you can say videos yeah videos and images you can just do both like this and you can just put in the value so so now what is going to happen is if you update the the media inside google sheet it is just going to go and get posted inside instagram stories so for that now what you can do is in make.com you can just when publishing your instagram a story to you know when you want to connect it to your scenario you can just add like a google sheet module and say add a row so i'll say enter manually get the sheet id I gotta say select from all based in the link and for the sheet name I just gotta say um, videos if I want to do for videos so now all I gotta do is just put in the link of the video inside this and if I say run once it is going to trigger it is going to trigger this scenario right here and go and publish it on buffer as simple as that so this is for videos you can just do exactly the same for images so you can just go say go and just create a new zap you can create a new zap here you can do exactly the same let me do it faster so select the account and again it is going to be the same so now for the worksheet the trigger is going to be from the images sheet and the columns I haven't added any column there so let me go to the images and add the same link images now I'll select the trigger column refresh results you can see link images we've got it continue and now maybe you can we just got an add added I'll see I'll just try to search for copy image address go back here paste the image go to Zapier test trigger test trigger again so we've got 
the value so i'll say continue the selected record now again buffer exactly the same as shown before add to queue select the account organization my organization and for the channel just select the same instagram and for the post again it is real so the only thing now we're gonna change is instead of a video oh sorry not real <laughs> a story and now instead of uh, the media in the media instead of video we're just gonna put an image and i'm gonna put in the image link that i just got so it's gonna be direct scheduling so i'm gonna say share now continue test step so now we're just testing the step of posting it to instagram we're just testing it with the photo post so now we should just have it arrive on our instagram account shortly okay an update was sent to buffer four seconds ago so let me go to my instagram refresh oh you see we just made a post so that's it so this is all you gotta do when you know so, so let me go back so let me what i'll do is i'll just publish this zap right here so now i'm gonna take another image i'll take this one right click copy image address now let me post it from mike.com you know although we are it's technically we're just posting this using zapier and buffer so we're just sending the trigger from mike so now under add rows so this is for videos so i'll just create one for images so now I'm, i just pasted the link under the images i'll say save though so i hope i've published this up yeah i've published it not really so now let me come back to mike say run once and now i should have this image be posted to instagram so let me come here refresh i think it could take a while because we're sending the information to zapier zapier to buffer and buffer is doing the post for us yeah so just made a post let me open it see it is exactly the image it was done from mike.com so now added the link inside mike it has triggered zapier and zapier went and created the post i mean went and sent the information to buffer and buffer just created the post for us so this is how you gotta do so this is same the exact steps that you gotta do for tiktok as well i've already made a video about that i think it is my second video i'll give a link to that down in the description or at the top here so this is the method so i think like i said i've already explained about how you can set this up for like how the plan or the pricing works so if you're uploading 50 stories per month then it could be done for completely free using zapier and buffer but let's say if it exceeds 50 in that case you got to get a paid plan on zapier which is about 20 dollars per month and you can do that either do that or else what you can do is it is quite you know like a funny trick which is just create another zapier account and just make it too so what you can do is you can just let me give you an idea so this one is using one zapier account you just create another you know just create another Zapier account and do exactly the same thing and in make.com. So the first time it goes to this and the second time it goes to the next. You know, first time it goes to one Zapier account and the second time it goes to the another Zapier account. So you're just splitting it into two Zapier accounts. So now you just get double. So now you can upload 100 stories for completely free with two Zapier accounts. Now, if you want to make it, you know, 150 stories, in that case, you got to create another Zapier account. So if you want to do that, yeah, you can do that. But if you want to get a paid plan, which makes things easier you can do that so I'm, i've just given you idea too this is the idea on how you can do this so just make sure if you're using a drive link it is like a publicly available downloadable link so all right thank you so much for taking your time and uh, checking into this video please do let me know if you've got any doubts and i'll be happy to answer them and see you on the see you in the next one thank you so much